with regard to the issue of getting fat. I used to believe it was common knowledge that excess calories were responsible for fat buildup. Apparently, I was wrong. In my many daily phone conversations with bodybuilders from all over the world, I see that many don't know much about the caloric dimension of nutrition. Most remarkable was a client of mine, and Dorian Yates, who happens to travel a lot as he is an agent for some of the top music groups. Last year, while in England on business, I set him up to meet Dorian, and they had breakfast together. The conversation centered mostly around bodybuilding and the fact that my client was having a very difficult time losing fat. Dorian's suggestion to my client was that he was eating too little, which was why he was fat, and that he should boost his calories from his maintenance level of around 2,200 all the way up to 4,500. This would somehow boost his metabolism, Dorian insisted, and he'd soon be losing fat rather easily. When my client informed me of this upon his return home, I said that Dorian's advice was ludicrous, and that if he followed it, he'd be sorry. He insisted that no, Dorian is Mr. Olympia, he knows what he is talking about, and that he was going to enthusiastically follow his advice and increase his food consumption up to over 4,000 calories a day. Two weeks later or so, I saw my client in the gym looking rather despondent. When I asked him what the problem was, he said that rather than lose weight, he put on six pounds of fat since trying the higher calorie intake. I did not say, I told you so, but explained it with the simple logic. Look, I said, if one must increase his calories and eat large quantities of food to lose weight, how does one gain weight? By eating small amounts of food while dramatically decreasing calorie intake? I got the point, was his reply.